why should we all have a trust when we own real estate? Well, it's primarily two reasons. One is to avoid probate, okay? A lot of people are familiar with the term probate. Probate is typically very expensive. By doing a trust at the beginning, you're avoiding all of the administrative expenses, which is primarily attorney's fees, if you have to go through a probate. So the two main reasons to do a trust is one, to avoid probate. You're talking saving thousands of dollars after you pass away in the administration of those assets. The other reason a trust is so important is it provides a mechanism for someone to manage that money and distribute that that money if the beneficiaries are either you know minor children or young adults so again the two main reasons is to avoid probate itself which is very expensive and by doing a trust putting your real estate into the trust and all of your financial accounts into the trust itself you completely avoid having to do the probate but again it also provides that mechanism to manage and sell the property you're naming like a successor trustee to manage the money for your minor children or for your young adults which you know they couldn't do if they were minor for obvious reasons right right mm -hmm. well something too just from a simplicity standpoint if you have a trust i'll use myself as an example so i have a trust with my properties in it sure. my vehicles are in it my bank accounts are in it That's everything right. i own financially is in a trust so initially you created the trust for me with a name and then i go to all of my institutions of banking and so forth and tell them that now my trust is named so for instance, if you have a large savings account, if you have a 401k, if you have securities, whatever you may have in terms of investments, in addition to real estate, if you're naming all of them as the trust, and then you put in your documents all of the financial assets you have in your trust, when something happens to you, it's much simpler for people to go and find everything. That's exactly right. And I think people forget about their bank accounts. I mean, depending on how much you have in your checking or your savings account, if that's not designated to your trust, could part of your assets end up in probate and part of them not? <laughs> And it happens all the time. I mean, we do trusts where we'll initially put the real estate into the uh, trust for the client by doing a deed and we get that recorded and everything. But for obvious reasons, we can't go out and update all the beneficiary designations on someone's financial accounts. And we have right. to give that homework to the client. So we give them a document called the certificate of trust. They go to their financial institution and update that to name their uh, trust, generally speaking, as the beneficiary. I would say like for me, when I think about my trust, I think about it as basically there's a roof over my house and inside the house are all my financial assets. So everybody can find everything very simply and easily. But I do think it's also common, and I have a lot of friends that have done this, where they create the trust, they put their house in it, but they forget everything else. So I think this is a good time of year, like spring cleaning. Let's think about cleaning up your financial assets and so forth too, mm -hmm. and making sure your house is in order in terms of if something happened to you. I mean, nobody likes to think about something happening, but the reality is it could and it will someday, unfortunately. And so just be prepared. And it's like, you talked about how much it can cost if you do have to go through prorate. And I feel like it's a pay now or pay later. And so it's cheaper to pay now That's right. than the enormous expenses of paying later. That's right. It's so, typically at least half, sometimes an order of magnitude less. If you just get your a trust in place now, put your assets in the trust as opposed to having to go through a probate later. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good information. Thank you, Kyle. You're welcome.